it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and passing the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, you support a website with a global audience. The website has a front-end web service and a back-end database service that runs on different clusters. All clusters are scaled to handle at least one-third of the total user traffic. You use four different regions in Google Cloud Platform and cloud load balancing to direct traffic to a region closer to the user. You are applying a critical security patch to the backend database. You successfully patch the database in the first two regions, but you make a configuration error while patching region 3. The unsuccessful patching causes 50% of user requests to region 3 to time out. You want to mitigate the impact of unsuccessful patching on users. What should you do? The large number of interesting points in this question, let's go directly into the analysis of the requirements. So there's a global application with four different regions. So there's considerable geographic redundancy that is available. Each region now serves about 25% of the load. All clusters are scaled to handle at least one third of the total user traffic, which means that it can take up to 33% load, or in other words, it is okay if one region goes down and we reroute traffic to the other regions, but only one region. We can't allow for more than one. You successfully patch the database in the first two regions. So we know that the patch is okay and we know the process, right? But there's been a configuration error, which is known while patching region three. And now we need to rectify that. The unsuccessful patching causes 50% of user requests to region three to time out. We obviously can't have that. We have to fix the database soon. Probably bring it down in the process. But the problem is, what about the closers close to this region? I'm sorry, what about the users close to this region? Where do they go? What about their active connections? As part of the requirement, we also have to mitigate the impact of unsuccessful patching on users. So our users should not notice any negative impact in all of this happening and all of this being rectified in the process too. With that understanding, let's now look at each of the options. Option A suggests add more capacity to the front end of region 3. If you increase the front end capacity, it will mean that more users could come on. Possibly if there are issues even in other regions, they might be routed into region 3 because it looks like, you know, there is more capacity there. But we have an unstable backend on the database in region 3. If more users come in, or even if it is a regular number of users, they are still going to continue to notice timeout issues. And that is not acceptable. Right? That's what we are trying to rectify here. So option A is not usable for us. Option B suggests revert the region 3 backend database and run it without the patch. What would happen if we did that? Since this is a critical security patch, it was going to leave our database vulnerable to any kind of attack. And that definitely is not acceptable. So patching it is a necessity. Another interesting thing to note is that if we revert it, and essentially we are restarting in the process, it is going to negatively impact the 50% of the users who are already connected to region three. So we can't just willy-nilly restart the database and bring it back to what it originally was. Because those 50% of the users who are already connected are going to notice a broken session, right? And that is not allowed. So option B does not work for us. Option D suggests back up the database in the backend of region three and restart the database. So our region three database has a problem and the suggestion is that we back it up, but in backing it up, we are only going to save the data. When we bring back that database on that VM, we are still going to have the security issue 
right? Remember, it is a critical security patch. We need to apply. So this leaves the database still vulnerable to an attack, and that is not allowed. That's not acceptable at all. Again, the same issue as we saw earlier, that just restarting the machine will cause a broken session for the 50% of the users for whom there is an active session on region 3. Remember that not everybody is seeing a timeout, only about 50% users. So these 50% users are going to be further affected. And that is also not acceptable for us. Finally, look at option C. It says, drain the request to region 3 and redirect new requests to other regions. So the option of draining essentially says that if you already have an active session, we are going to allow you to finish. But then we are not going to allow any new sessions to come. So no new connections, no new users. We will allow the current set of users to finish the session and then clean out the machine so that then we can work on cleanly pat uh, patching this particular database. In the meantime, what are we doing? We are not rejecting the users. We are just routing it to the other regions, which means there's an increased load in the other regions. Can that accept the increased load? The answer is definitely yes, because we know that these clusters are already scaled to handle one third of the total user traffic. It can also be noted additionally that after region three is successfully passed after this process and it is brought back up, now you can start patching region 4 because we can't do it simultaneously in case uh, the patching of region 4 also fails right now we've got only 50% capacity um, or the 50% of the user is split between region 1 and 2 and it is not able to serve that kind of traffic so you finish with uh, region 3 make sure it is okay and bring back bring that back up and let users come in there and then we can patch region 4 also. With that now we have a complete solution to take care of the situation and bring us back to a working condition and therefore our best answer for this is option C which is to train the request in region 3 and while that is uh, happening of patching that database you redirect the new request to other regions. If you're interested in picking up loads more learning on Google Cloud go ahead and subscribe right away. Mm -hmm.